Hey, it's Play Trader, and this will be a video chart on SLLN. Before I get started, I would like to note to please check my IRP disclaimer. With that being said, a nice looking chart here, um, one that would fall into the bottom bouncing category. And as we break down the chart, hopefully it'll become more and more clear on why that is the case. Uh, but just to go over kind of the, the general sense of the chart, you can see that it really started trading uh, back in this area here and made some nice moves. Uh, so it's been uh, well above a penny before. Uh, so keep you know these prices in mind. Like I said, you know it hit two cents, three cents, and just right around four cents too. So compared to where the price is now, this actually does a good example of showing uh, you know the pot the potential upside um, you know profits. Um, and then you know things just started to pull back. And then what we look like potentially happened here was we had our final bit of uh, capitulation volume big volume for basically a week straight here and the price did fall down but notice what happened after this week of big volume the price has now started to go sideways and actually put in higher lows um, you know in the short term which I'll map out a little clearer there on smaller volume so it's looking like that potentially whoever the big seller or sellers however you want to look at that was during this portion they seem to be out now based on both how the volume has dropped off and now has the price has not only leveled off but started to creep back upwards with the lower or with the higher lows so we can see that a little bit better as you can see there we had the final low which was right there and then and that low came right at the level of uh, 0.002 so this will be the key level here for support um, you know, if the price were to fall back down here, what would we, what we would be looking for is hopefully a double bounce um, pattern that would take shape. If the price were to come down here and crash through this, then obviously that's not a good sign. Uh, but the way it's been, um, you know, trending here, it seems like, you know, it wants to keep moving higher. But if it does come down here, 0 0.002 is definitely the ultimate key support um, for this chart right now. Because, like I said, if it doesn't go or if it breaks below that. Now all of a sudden we're putting it in lower lows and you know we want to see higher highs but if not a double bottom could happen down here so and then the next pullback you can see was obviously right here so that's higher next pullback right here higher so you get the case after this big volume and the price pulling back the price has now started to uh, put in higher low after higher ho low so it's starting to kind of get coiled up here and hopefully we'll see uh, some nice continued movement to the upside this next week. Now in terms of resistances, the main one that's kind of sticking out to me right now is just simply this 10-day simple moving average right there. Um, right now that's valued uh, right around uh, the 0.004 area. So that'll be the first initial resistance to get above and then after that things really start to thin out. Uh, there is going to be probably another one right around here you can see actually let me get this changed to red for resistance but there was um, the high right here was 0 0.005 high right here 0 0.005 so um, after this moving average I would then look for 0 0.005 to uh, maybe provide some resistance but then after that you can see that the resistance levels really begin to thin out so there's quite a bit of uh, you know like I said potential upside you know with a strong volume break of uh, this 0 0.005 area and the other good thing is, you know, these prices don't have to move too much uh, in order for the percentages to add up. Being a double or sub uh, penny stock, percentages add up very, very quickly. Every tick up, you know, is you know quite a nice chunk of percentages. So, you know, it's not like a $10 stock where you know you need that, that much more to to make the percentages add up. They can come very quickly with these ones. And then looking at the MACD, you can see that this is starting to separate from. Um, and signal line right here and it's never crossed below it. that's the other interesting aspect even despite this pullback it is maintained above it now it's gotten close a couple times but never pulled below it, fallen below it and now we can see that it's starting to separate again so the further this blue line gets away from the orange line uh, you know the the stronger and stronger the m momentum and chart will become so if there are any other questions on the chart please send me a message if not once more this was SLLN enjoy your weekends